Right, okay then, before I start this, I've got a couple of things to say. First of all, well, okay, major One Punch Man spoilers, I mean major. So, if you're waiting for season two, don't watch this if you don't want spoilers, because this could spoil big stuff. In particular, I'm talking to Ben, Riley, and possibly George. I don't know who else watches this, but if you're waiting for One Punch Man season two, do not watch this. Seriously, guys, this will spoil it. If it happens in the anime. But if you want to watch it, it's up to you. It was really, really good. <laughs> yeah, also, don't expect this as an annual thing. I'm Well, like, as a regular thing, even. Because it's going to be an annual thing instead. I'm saying it now. I'm working on a super big review of One Punch Man for 2016. I don't know when it'll be released, because I've barely filmed like a core of it at this point in time. Let alone editing it, putting it all out. You know, I've got a long way to go on it. Don't expect it for a while. It will happen at some point. This is a one-off because of how excited I got about this chapter. I... I... <laughs> I really... Oh, I went a bit goofy there. Ha! <laughs> Disney. I uh, really... Oh, this was a good chapter. This was... Uh, it, it looked pretty and then I got some... Oh, we'll talk about it in the review. Okay? You've been warned? You still here? I'm going to start talking in a sec. You... Look, this is your chance to click off. You can look. There's all these things over there or there. Look, there's a, there's a search bar up there somewhere. Just type type something else. Just go like, oh, uh, looks like it's Matt Bioshock. Hey, shout out to my child. Seriously, last warning. Spoilers. And a big one punch man review at some point in the future. This year. Don't know when, but this year. Okay? Okay. One Punch Man, 70.2, the first chapter of the year, begins with the fight against Saitama and Swiryu, the martial arts tournament finals, and it was amazing. So, we start off with Saitama, like, I guess it's time to go, boom, he starts, he launches at Saitama, and Sai he kicks him, Pff, Saitama blocks. One of my favourite things about Saitama is just, he just never, well, nothing's very like a threat to him, so... Like, he, he never gets, like, kind of actually blasted, so, like, this guy kicks with all his, well, not all of his mics, because he doesn't go fully serious, because he doesn't use his legs, I'll get into that in a second. But, so he goes, BOOM! And so I tell like, He just kind of shuffles along the floor. <laughs> but isn't moving, really, at all. And then this whole big fight, and she's like, basically, Saitama's just blocking. Blocking, dodging, you know, doing what he can, keeping the wig on. Uh, and Swiri's just getting his, like, kicks, he's like, yeah, this is fun, let's get started. This fight was so Saitama vs. Boros too. Have you ever been this excited for a fight since Saitama vs. Boros? So you've got that to look forward to, anime viewers. I'm looking forward to it if it happens. It was just incredible how well it was done. Like, everyone was in awe of it. Like, even the other martial arts in the tournament were like, the tournament, the tournament. <laughs> even though all the martial arts in the tournament were like, Yes! No, they weren't even like, yes. I was like, yes! They were like, oh, what's going on? He, they're on a completely different level. And then that kick, where he like, kicks Saitama up into the air, and he like, you, like, he looks for a second, and he's like, football kicks him back down! I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> that was so good! And then what I love is Saitama's just, boom! Nice, the wig's still on. <laughs> and then, when Siri comes down, he's like, oh, and then everyone thought he was gonna like try to do a double hand guard, and then he's like, oh, and then Siri just comes down, kicks him, that would hurt. I was like, ugh, a bit, only a bit because it was Saitama. I was like, nah, he'll be fine. He's, he's like, everyone else was just like, he failed to do it. The double hand guard did not succeed. That kick was brutal. Also, the announcer guy is his hair just growing and growing. I feel like his hair's growing more and more, like. The other contestants watching are just, they've even got like little eyes, they're just dotted eyes now, like, they're in awe. Um, what was it, Zakos? He's like, I don't know what's going on, like, if he, there's no way he could have survived that, his entire face is uh, crushed. There's no way Jeranko can survive. <laughs> he's just got Saitama's like, little, little like, steam coming off where he hit him, and he's like, huh. And then... Asuru's just all like, oh, I see. You, <laughs> like, you're not, you're not that bad after all. If you'd be boring if you could only keep up this much with his arms crossed. Because everyone also pointed out, Asuru's not going serious either because he's not using his hands. He's only using his legs. Um, and Saitama just goes, uh, he's like, yeah, as I expect. You are dangerous. Like that was a close one. Whew. 
That's what he says, and in his head he's just like, oof, the wig nearly fell off, what am I going to do? And I'm like, yeah! It was really cool, it was hilarious, it was great. And then Tsuru like, reveals eventually, so like, Tsuru goes back in, and then he's like, your brightest weapon's a powerful punch, isn't it? So in that case, I'm only going to use kicks. Come on, bring it. And then Sweet, and then Saitama, like he's dodging, and then the best part of the, well no, not the best part, one of my favourite part art-wise was just the flurry of kicks Saitama was taking. Like, they're just like these like super fast video kicks, like, and you just got Saitama just kind of like, uh. <laughs> it was great. And then, you know, he's doing this whole thing. Saitama is about to, I, I think he was about to counter. He's about to hit him. And then Swiryu, he's just like, come on, do it. And then, he's actually intimidated by him. And he goes back, and Saitama starts sweating. And I was, I was like, what? Saitama? No, no, Saitama, this isn't you. I was for a second. Because I look forward to the day where he has a match. I do look forward to the day he has someone who's, a, who's an actual kind of challenge to him. Because that might be the best fight ever of all time. But, you know, even he was like... Oof. And I was like, that that can't be Saitama, right? He's like, oh, I... but even Tsuru was complimenting him this whole time. He's like, you know what? You're really strong. I can tell this. Like, I respect you because of how strong you are. You work hard, obviously. Like, even despite the fact that I, you're not attacking, you're on the defense. Your defense is solid. I really, I really respect that. What is your workout regime? And then Saitama's like, oh, you know, I just I take walks. I I fight monsters. And then he's like, what? And then Tsuru's all like, what? You fight monsters. You, you sound like a hero or something. So I was like, oh crap, I'm not. I'm not. It's, I'm not. It's like no. I just I I look out to heroes. I might join it one day, and they're like, oh, so you want to be part of that dumb association? This is where the chapter gets amazing. It's so good. It's so. Woohoo! But quickly, I just want to say, fair play to Swiryu. He is a monster. He's really strong. I'd put him. I don't know how strong Bang is around that level, which says stuff about him. So then, Tsuruyo goes on this rant about the Hero Association, and he's just like, you know, they're not real people, like, they're not strong enough to take on these monsters, they're idiots, they're stupid, why even try and be something like this when you don't have a chance? They're just, they're morons, basically. And he does have valid points, because that is the majority of the Hero Association. A lot of them are just working for their own personal gain, just like, for revenge. Trying to better, like, trying to better their upstanding, you know, promotion. Like, you've got Genos, he's just in it to get revenge. And also, because Saitama told him to, uh, Bang's in it to try and get recruits for his dojo. Tatsumaki's probably just in it to get people to join, to recognise how good she is. Uh, Handsome Mask is just in it because he's like, oh, popularity, celebrity, whatever. He's a bit twisted. But then, we go to the only other true hero in the series... In basically, so we cut all across the world, and then we go to the hospital, which is being attacked by monsters, because obviously the world's being attacked by monsters at this point. Uh, Moomin Rider is, like, there's all these different heroes, and you've got Moomin Rider in a corner, like, like a monster's coming down, and he's like, oh, it's so good, oh, I can finally defeat some heroes, it's going to be great. Except a lot more menacing than I was just then. And Moomin is like, Moomin Rider obviously doesn't, once again, like the Sea King, he doesn't stand a chance, but he's, he knows, and he's saying to himself, that are critically injured behind me. They can't move at all. If I move, they're gonna die. I can't move from this spot. I cannot move. You know, he gets easily taken down by this monster, right? Easily, but he still refuses to move. And, oh, it was so good, because when he goes to attack, he's like, crunch, and then, ah, but he, in the same point, he grabs his up by the ankle, and he's like, now, tank top master comes running down the hall. He's like, tank top tackle, boom. And then he's all, and then the monster gets defeated. Moomin Rider straight away, like, tank top, he must, I don't, tank top master's got to respect Moomin Rider. Moomin Rider's awesome like that. Uh, but then he was like, are you still okay to carry on fighting? Straight away, Moomin's like, of course I can, because he knows what he needs to do as a hero. He needs to get out there, protect people, because that's what heroes are being all about. Doesn't matter how strong you are, you've got to do it. It just also works that Saitama is actually that strong. Strong enough to beat all the enemies. And then... Also, when Swiru started uh, giving this like little speech about what he thought about the Hero Association, Saitama just went very plain in art style. But then, as he goes on and on, Saitama, even from a distance, he's got the proper seriously like half his face is like dark and shadows and stuff. And I'm like, he's coming! Oh, he's coming! He's a coming! Uh, and then he carries on this whole rant. He's like, listen, being a hero is stupid. He's like, How, an iron will, heroic sense of justice, all of that is nothing. Why would you? That's boring. What you want is just a simple, easy life. I'm only telling you this 
because I'm because you're strong, you know. You just want to enter a tournament every now and again to live the fun, easy life that I live. That's all you need to do. Saitama's pretty serious at this point as well. And then he's like, oh, I'm sorry, d did I hit a nerve or something? Well, I'm just giving you this advice because I respect you because of how strong you are. Saitama doesn't even try and block it. The wig gets knocked off. And he's just like, because it's, it's not about the tournament anymore. It's about teaching someone what it means to be a hero. <laughs> And Saitama, like, everyone's just in awe, like, the wig, he's like, a clean hit! Pfft, everyone's just watching, I can imagine this going in slow-mo, the wig kind of tumbling off, and then Saitama's just like, Pfft, listen, here's the thing, you respect the strong, well, let me give you some advice then. He doesn't have his wig on anymore, everyone can see that he's bald, and he's just, oh, and then he's just like, listen, here's some advice. Here's a piece of advice for you. If you want to have an enjoyable life being strong, don't get any stronger than you are now. Boom! And it wasn't like a, it was like a full on punch. Not he, he stopped before he hit him, and it wasn't as strong as like his punch when he fought Genos, where it like totaled the mountain side behind him. Uh, but it was strong enough to like leave a big blast of air and stop and defeat, tear off like all of the top half of Zenko's clothes, pretty much. Get big dents. Zenko ain't so... Not Zenko. Zenko's Metal Vast Little Sister. I keep getting those names confused. you. Oh, he ain't... He ain't happy anymore. He's sweating. He's terrified by what happened. Everyone's in awe of what just happened. And you know what else happens? He just... This is why Saitama backed off early. He's like, damn, I... I, this, I nearly did it again. I nearly ended this fight in one punch. This fight has just begun. I don't want to end this fight just yet. He wasn't in trouble at all. Of course he wasn't in trouble. He's the goddamn one punch man. He's the cake baldy. He's side tower. I love it. He's such a good character because he's silly. But when he gets serious, oh, he's got some lessons and preaching to do. Oh, there goes the lamp. Wait. Oh, the light? The light. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it, was, it was very good. I had to stop recording for a sec because my camera ran out of battery. I just don't know what's going to happen next because now everyone knows who he is. Like, well, I'm guessing either they're going to... Well, the monster's on its way to the arena. No one will be able to beat against Saitama where he'll one-punch it. Then Tranko will get all the glory because it's in his name. And then Tranko will be like a god of martial arts or something up there with Bang. And... Tsuyu's going to be on the lookout for Tranko. He's going to find Tranko, then he's going to realise he's a different person, then he's going to try and find Saitama, similar to, like, Sonic and King and Genos and Fubuki, and he might join the group, he might possibly. But yeah, it's really good. Yes. Okay, so now my memory card space ran out on my camera, so I'm going to finish this off over here. Yeah. It was a good chapter of Ron Punch Man, like normal. It's, it's always a good chapter of Ron Punch Man. Like, it, the artwork was great, it was funny, and just the, when it gets serious about the hero stuff, I love it when it does that. It's just, it was good. Yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching. This isn't going to be a regular thing at all. Until, well, annually regular. So, yeah. It's a great way to start the year. Uh, keep up the fight, heroes. Get it? Because it's like the song. It's like the One Punch song. <laughs> yeah. Laters? Bye? What are you doing, mate? You've left it too long. Now they're all going to stare at you. I can keep this going. But I'm wasting memory space and battery. Bye!